Hi, this is Billy Bean with a flash update for World News, episode 35, today's date, July 2nd, 2023. Some of the things we'll be covering, JB, heart attack, Kevin McCarthy, third in line, and the UK uh, NATO forces are engaged in a heavy battle this afternoon in Ukraine, 40,000 versus Russia's 100,000. The Zeporonista nuclear power plant has been fully evac evacuated this afternoon and the nuke sniffer is in the air. So it appears that uh, the U.S. government is on the brink of a major uh, change in our government. This could be one of the reasons we've had that recent deployment of the U.S. military. And it appears that things are getting ready uh, to go hot in Ukraine. So, some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Mike Penny, uh, War News 24-7, uh, Canadian Prepper, Hal Turner. Okay, I uh, started checking my emails uh, this afternoon. I like to get the comments and I have a Patriot subscriber saying, JB's had a heart attack. Things are going, you know, changing. And so I had to um, uh, get the source on that, and I verified, yes, a credible source is putting that out, and that's Mike Penny on his Truth Seeker 88 channel on Rumble. I'll link that for you. And I have this other information. I talked about Bradley's being taken out. And uh, I, I called it a tank. And a Patriot subscriber said, no, they're not a tank. They're mounted with 50 cows. And they, they primary, they're an armored vehicle that transport soldiers. And I'd like to say thanks to Roses and Rags for your support of my channel. And now we have this. I have uh, in Youngstown, the Air Force Reserve, yeah, fixed spray, fixed wing spray, the only one in, in the U.S., has been very busy for since all of June, and many planes are up. And the question is, we wonder, what are they spraying? Now, this is coming out uh, that uh, JB supposedly has had a heart attack. Now, we know that... The actual flesh and blood JB actually passed in 2019. So this is the cover story for the actor puppet avatar for the deep state to be removed. So the information is going to be that JB had a heart attack. And that would have been uh, sometime July 1, July 2, question mark. And the information coming out is that Kamala Harris, currently in the position of vice president, is not eligible to be president because she was not born in the U.S. She's technically not pro eligible to be vice president. So she's out. When a president is not able to fulfill his office, and the vice president is not able to take that place, then comes third in line. Third in line is Kevin McCarthy. He's currently uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives. He's a Republican from California. Uh, 58 years old. He was born in 1965. So technically, he would be the one who would be sworn in, according to our uh, Constitution, unless uh, action is going to be taken by the U.S. military to uh, do away with this current Democratic government and install President Trump, who was elected 
in all 50 states in November of 2020. And 80% of the American citizen patriots are aware of this. So we really don't know right now what's going on in the U.S. But it is good to know that J.B. never had the nuke biscuit. President Trump still retains it and is guarded by the U.S. military. So our nuke, nukes are safe, absolutely. So this is going on. And we have now in Ukraine also the situation that uh, Ukraine potentially uh, backed by the shadow U.S. government. Now, let's, let's work through this. It is uh, ongoing, and the NATO, a shadow NATO organization has been prepping to get some kind of nuke going for, to take down world, began World War III, and we had that intercepted phone call from Victoria Newland to go, began July 11, 2023. Now, if a change was going on in the U.S. government, and we understand that the mainstream media has been told to keep quiet, so there's nothing publicly coming out yet, but this uh, situation uh, tends to correlate with what we've been seeing in the U.S. with the spreading out of the U.S. military. So we don't know exactly what's going on. But we can rest assured that our nukes are safe and in under control by President Trump and the 70% of the U.S. military who recognize President Trump as commander-in-chief. Now, let's see what's going on in Ukraine. So we have Luhansk, Donas, Zaporizhzhia, Kherson. And we've seen in the last few days both the uh, Ukraine and Russia evac their people from this area. Now, Canadian Prepper is putting out this afternoon that the last 100 have evac and that the constant phoenix, the U.S. nuke sniffer that was sent to Crete yesterday is in the air. So we see the potential for something happening. Now we have this. There's also been a big battle going on. This is the Dnepro River. And we've been seeing for the last few weeks fierce fighting day and night uh, to cross this Dnepro River to get to the power plant. And this is going on. And we had that recent uh, coup mutiny attempt, which, uh, you know, my word from the Lord was this is a distraction. And Larry Johnson said also, during that time period to Belarus, moved about 25,000. That was the Wagner Group. And also in this area, Kharkiv, Russia moved 100,000 Russian troops. And this is what we're seeing engaged today, July the 2nd, in this area. We had fierce fighting in Servanesk, uh, Kupiansk, and we have six brigades of the NATO plus mercenaries. So I'm guessing the, the this whole NATO Ukraine force is about 40,000. And we had 100,000 in the uh, Russians. And what happened was the uh, NATO Ukraine made a run. They tried to break the lines. And 
Russia sent down paratroopers and also artillery and planes, and Russia crossed the Oskol River in the Kharkiv area with paratroopers, and they took out a bridge that was five kilometers from Kupinask, and Russia set up a base near also Kiev, which is right here. And we know that Belarus appears to be getting ready also to come down into this area. And now we have this. Uh, yeah, and Russia also hit in this area. There was something like a mushroom cloud when they hit a weapons and ammo warehouse for NATO, Ukraine. We have this. Mercenaries that are in this area are primarily speak Polish and French. And the Russians so far have maintained and are pushing back the NATO Ukraine forces. And we have this statement from Medvedev, uh, who's currently a co deputy of the Russian Security Council. If NATO succeeds in this new event, Russia is going to produce a nuclear winter. And we have this from Hal Turner. Yesterday, the winds were blowing into Russia, but the winds have changed. If there's an event at the nuclear power plant, that nuke dust is going to blow all over Europe. And, yeah, so that's all going on. So we can say, God bless America, and God bless Ukraine, all of Europe, and Russia, all the peoples of the earth who simply want peace and prosperity. It's good to prep and to remember that God is in charge, and He is on the move. And remember, angel of death, he also has on the earth, maybe uh, someone was touched by an angel of death in the um, White House. We don't know, but we can uh, rest assured, and I'll come back even later tonight if there's a big up flash update. I love you, and I'll see you soon.